Hello friends, in this video lecture, we will try to understand SNMP communication model. So let us begin with basic model of communication. In the basic model of communication, there is a send out and there is receiver. In between sender and receiver, if we require to establish and communication then first of all, that two device which required to take the part in the communication process, then the one will be sender and one will be obviously the receiver. Both required to follow some protocols. Protocols are nothing but rules and regulations for making the successful communication. So whenever we require to send something, then there should be someone who will try to receive that function or that particular data. So the sender inside the SNMP is known as SNMP manager. And receiver inside the SNMP is known as SNMP agent. Why? Because in the process of SNMP communication, the manager is the component who is able to create the data. The agent is the component who is able to receive the data and carry forward or pass forward it to all the resources. So we have to understand this particular process of communication in a particular network by comparing the basic model of the communication. So SNMP manager, if the sender wants to send something to receiver, they have to follow some protocol. So what are the protocol? First of all, sender is required to send the request to the receiver that he wants to establish and communication and he wants to transmit some data to the receiver. Then SNMP agent which is going to act as a receiver, they will try to send the response to the sender. The response in the way that they are able to receive the data or they are not able to receive the data. So along with this response, agents are also able to send some notifications or some messages to the SNMP manager which is known as traps. So traps are nothing but the unsolicited or unwanted message sometimes or sometimes they can be useful. So when they try to provide the information regarding the basic alert or the emergency case via SNMP agent that is via receiver. So this is the basic way to establish and communication. Now who is able to transmit the data? Manager is able to transmit the data. So manager has to start the communication. This is the first way of the establishment of the communication. Who is able to receive the data? Receiver or agents are able to receive the data. So they have to first send them the notification regarding the response whether they are interested to receive the data or they are not interested to receive. Interested in the way that whether they are able to receive the data or they are not able to receive. Along with that if they want to send any emergency for the explanation about the response then they are able to send what? Traps. So we have to actually use the notification like this. So traps are generated from agent side and they are towards the manager side. So this is the process hence known as the basic model of communication because with the help of these three information sender will start to transmit the data. So once the data is actually transmitted from sender to receiver the communication will start. So this is the basic model of communication which will give us an establishment of an communication. In the SNMP communication model, the SNMP V1 communication model, 
defines the specification of four aspects of SNMP communication. Basically, there are three versions of SNMP model. SNMP V1, that is version 1, SNMP V2, that is version 2, and SNMP V3, that is version 3. In every model, we will notice that there are few newly events are occurred. That means there are few new generation of the message are occurred in each model. So SNMP V1 will define the communication model. So whenever the question is regarding the SNMP communication model, we have to draw the two models. First one, which is the basic model of communication, which we have just seen. And the second one is nothing but the communication model from SNMP that is known as SNMP V1. So there are four aspects of this SNMP communication model. What are that? First one, the architecture. The basic or the fixed architecture defined by the SNMP V1. Second is administrative mode. We have to understand the meaning of this more later. Third one is SNMP protocol, the meaning of the SNMP protocol. And fourth, fourth one is SNMP MIB. MIB is nothing but the management information base. That is nothing but the database. The architecture specifies the management message between the system and the management agent. Architecture means what? Infrastructure or the organization of SNMP model. So if we have to understand the meaning of architecture, that means the generation of the messages or the flow of message in between the sender and the receiver. That is nothing but what? Architecture. So this is about the architecture. There is a fixed architecture as I already told you. What kind of architecture is there? Let us try to understand. Basically, behind the architecture of SNMP V1, there are few aims to define that architecture. So three goals of the architecture are first, it should minimize the number and complexity of the management function. It should able to reduce the number and complexity of the management function. Indirectly, it should be able to give us the easier structure, which is less complex. Second, it should be flexible enough to expansion such that it should be able to add the new aspects of operation and management. Second is it should able to give us expansion or indirectly flexibility. The model should be flexible. That means what indirectly? The newly updated operations newly updated systems, the model has to support all these things. Why? Because day by day, the new types of models are generated or welcome in the world. So every model is advanced as compared to the previous or the basic model. So the models which are advanced and which are inside the particular network, that network also required to update. So the network should be flexible to make the operations very easily for the incoming newly added models. So indirectly, the SNMP is able to monitor the newly added extra element automatically. So it's a responsibility of SNMP communication model or it is the goal of the SNMP communication model that the model should be flexible or should be expansion to make all the operations of management. Third one is it should be independent of the architecture and mechanism of a particular host or gateway. A particular device that means we have to focus only on a single device. There can be the thousands or the billions of the devices present in the network. So model should be independent of a single device. It can be flexible to every device. So the meaning of the statement is this. So it is not
so it should not able to depend on a particular that means on a specific device so it should be independent so there are three goals behind the organization of the snmp communication model the first one is number and complexity should be decreased so the model should be easy to make all the functions second expansion or flexibility to update or to carry forward the data all the operations for the newly incoming devices third it should be independent that means it should not depend on a particular host means device or gateway so these are the three aspects or the three goals of the communication model so exactly what is the snmp v1 or snmp communication model the architecture is like this where there are three messages which are generated by the manager side and two messages which are generated by the agent side so the manager and agents are also able to make or establish the communication we have to compare this particular architecture with the basic model of the architecture in which there is a manager and there is a agent and they are try to communicate with the help of the three generation of the messages only that are nothing but request response and craps and here we try to classify the request message into the first three message which are known as get request get next request and set request response is generated from the receiver side and fifth one is crap so this is the architecture the first aspect of the snmp communication model that architecture should be the fix or the flexible after that whatever the layers we try to use for making the snmp communication model we have to take the information about that because that is nothing but the aspects of the architecture the given architecture establishes the data path between the manager application process and agent application process via the transport function protocols so whatever number of protocols we try to use inside the application all are nothing but the transport function protocol applications first one is snmp simple network management protocol second one is udp user datagram protocol third one is ip internet protocol next one is dlc data link control protocol and last one is physical layer the three application layer that are nothing but session presentation and application are integrated in the snmp process the communication of management information among the management entities is realized through the exchange of five protocols so how many protocols they have to use these particular five protocols for making the exchange of the communication inside the snmp v1 three of these are get request get next request and set request are initiated by the manager application process that means indirectly by the sender application process other are nothing but the get response and traps these are generated by the agent process indirectly by the receiver process and here again the message generation is known as event why because we are inside the snmp and inside the snmp whatever number of messages are generated they are known as event so this is about the first aspect of the snmp model that is nothing but the architecture the second one is administrative mode the administrative mode is one of the mode which will gives the basics of communication or which is useful inside the snmp communication third one is snmp protocol we are familiar with the snmp protocol the protocol is very different than that of the basic protocol which is snmp why because they are able to automatically monitor the newly added elements inside the network and the last one is snmp mib mib is nothing but management information base which is try to gives us the information about the current added elements inside the network or the currently active elements inside the network so snmp mib is able to provide us a tree structure tree structure means what root node and a sub node so like that 
सो दैट स्ट्रक्चर विल एबल टू गिव अस इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डिफरेंट एक्टिव एलिमेंट्स एट द डिफरेंट टाइम फॉर द करंट ट्रांजिशन और करंट ट्रांसमिशन इन साइड द नेटवर्क सो लाइक दैट वॉट एस एन एम पी कम्युनिकेशन मॉडल इज एबल टू गिव अस द आर्किटेक्चर द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मोड द एस एन एम पी प्रोटोकॉल एंड द एस एन एम पी एम आई बी सो इन दिस वे देर आर फ्यू एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एस एन एम पी कम्युनिकेशन मॉडल बेसिकली एस एन एम पी वी वन इज द बेसिक मॉडल ऑफ एस एन एम पी कम्युनिकेशन एंड दैट इज डिपेंड अगेन ऑन द बेसिक्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन मॉडल दैट इज द ट्रांसमिशन इन बिटवीन द सेंडर एंड रिसीवर अलॉन्ग विद द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मैसेज जनरेशन नोन एज द रिक्वेस्ट रिस्पॉन्स एंड ट्रैक्स थैंक यू